Hi guys, I wanted to show you my project of how to turn these van skate highs into a set of park roller skates. I've got some skates here that I'm going to take apart and all this other stuff that I've been collecting and put them together um, along with these insoles um, and make some skates. So this was a lot harder than I thought it would be, so I thought I'd show you how I did it. Here we go. First go ahead and take the skates apart. Um, mine were already mounted, they were new, but I'm parting them out anyways. After you take all the wheels off, take the trucks off, and then you've got to separate the plates from the bottom of the skate. This is where it got tough for me. I had to get the grinder out and try to get some of these bolts off that were just seized. I'll go into this a little bit more later. This was not fun. Finally. So a lot of my bolts holding this um, plate on were, you couldn't unscrew them and get them to come out because they're on the inside the little screw heads or whatever didn't have a slot for a screwdriver so they just kept spinning and spinning so I had to figure out how to get them off and I tried a million different things um, which I'll spare you but here is what I found to work the best of what I had and I don't really know what I'm doing but um, so using a Dremel and this um, grinding head which has kind of like reinforced with like I don't know cross hatches or something um, basically I just went like that and screw off all of the um, until I could basically screw past a little bit more than half the screw and then I was able to get like a screwdriver in there and break it off the rest of the way to get it off um, I had these other little discs that I was using at first for the longest time and they made me crazy these little flat guys it's kind kind of like um bam. it's not paper but it's it they're really fragile and they i kept wearing through them really quick and breaking them um and i got really pissed off but once i tried this one it worked a lot better so there's a tip for you i also tried like drilling into the top of the screw drive or um, the screw head to make something that I could put a driver in there to hold it still and that didn't work um, I tried literally drilling into it and that didn't work I probably have the wrong kind of drill bit I don't know um, I tried a chisel and I totally did that to the chisel and my husband's probably gonna kill me um, so I'm going to do this last one so you can see if I can figure out how to turn this around. Okay, so now I got all the plates off and I've got to... I want to change out these pivot cups for rubber ones that are supposed to um, cushion better with park skating. So pick these up. These are the rubber pivot cups. They're sort of flexy. Um, and this is the first time I've done this. So on the other, my other plate, I was practicing figuring out how to get these things out. They are really hard. And I could not pry it out. Uh, so I went to Google and found a couple solutions so i can't tell you if this is the way it's supposed to be done but it is the way i found to do it online and how i did it so basically i took a um this is a really really hard like nylon or something so um i drilled out most of it so that it's nice and thin and a little bit more flexible and then i took a um drywall screw and blunted the tip of it so it's not so pointy 
um, and then you basically drill, um, screw it in, and it kind of walks the pivot cup out. So I'll show you. I just drilled it out some, but you know, careful not to like damage the plate. Hopefully that's enough. And then, um, so I've tried gripping it with needle nose. It still didn't work. So let me just take the screw. There's a little tiny hole in the base of the, of the pivot cup right down in there. And that's what I'm tapping with the screw. And this actually worked way better than I expected it to. Like literally everything I've been doing today trying to figure these skates out has been a pain in the butt. Um, but this actually went smoother than I thought. It's still really hard to get out a little bit further. And then it just comes out. And oops, so I'll do that with the last one. So here's something I learned along the way. This has really been an eye-opening process. So these are the trucks that came with these plates. You see the little knob on the tip and they're adjustable. Um, these are the penny, the penny board hangers that I got from um, uh, Skate Rats in Loveland. Colorado and I thought they were really pretty and everything and they are but the tip is a little bit different the penny ones are more just like a nub versus the little ball and socket so I called them because I'm freaking out that I did this wrong but apparently the guy says it does work um, it's just slightly different than we're used to so here's the chicks and bowls um, rubber pivot cup. So it's supposed to all work. Just wanted to let you know that after I drilled all that out, I kind of freaked out because this doesn't fit quite as like cleanly and like pivoty. These really kind of have to like jam on there. So we'll see. Uh, so now I measured the center at the back of the shoe and then up here uh, you're supposed to measure in between your second and third toes so I compared that against my current um, skates and it looked about right slightly off center so um, then I drew a line between the two and centered my plate on it and figured out how far back and forward I wanted. At this point, I've really never honestly skated in other skates except for my own and rental skates a couple times. But um, so it's a bit of a guessing game for me as far as where I want the um, plate to fit. I tried to look at um, exactly where my um, ball of my foot is and I made a little mark there and I made a little tiny mark as far as where my ankle bone is lined up with and I guess I'm going to try to um, center the um, center everything kind of in between those two marks it's like I said I really have no idea so um, I'm just gonna kind of guess my current skates have my plate set a back about like a quarter of an inch from the back but these are different plates I've got Avengers on there and these are Avantis so um, it's they're sized differently and so whatever that's what I'm going with then um, so anyways, I got it set on there, and then I exactly where I wanted it, and I marked holes where all of the holes.
holes are that have to be drilled. Um, so I'm going to drill the holes and I'm going to insert the aluminum strengthening insole inside so that when I drill the holes it marks the holes on here and then I will take it all out and um, refine the holes and go from there. So now I've clamped the insole in there and I'm drilling through my marks and then I'm taking it apart and lining it up and checking everything. Well, something flexed or something. So my marks are a little bit off. This is taking forever. I guess I'll drill the front four, get those in, and remark the back four. Fuck. So I finally got the holes drilled. It was a disaster but I figured it out and I made some adjustments. It's kind of an ugly cut. I'm not, I didn't, I'm not even want to show you. But so now that I know where the holes are supposed to be, I will um, match up the other sole with it, mark them. I think I'm gonna use the drill press, which I forgot we had. It would have made this job a whole lot easier if I had done it sooner. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll have all the holes drilled properly. This one looks much better. This will be my example and I won't pay, I won't uh, let you see the other one. So now I'm gonna stick them in the shoes and um, redrill both of the holes or you know, the holes in the sole so everything's matched up perfectly for both pair. And then um, next step. So it's day two, I battled this project for far too long yesterday and wanted to share a couple things I learned, like really sort of hating this project towards the end of yesterday. Everything was more difficult than I had expected, um, most everything. I drilled, drilled these so far, that went fairly well. Um, the hardest part so far, which no one really talks about online, is getting the holes right on the plates, I mean on the aluminum plate, and getting the bolts through the sneaker. This about pushed me over the edge yesterday. I drilled, and then I get the plate lined up, and then I couldn't push the screws through the rubber and finally I just gave up yesterday started today did some errands and then it's it's Sunday afternoon and I'm going to try to finish it up today if all goes well so thankfully without too much effort I got the screws the bolts through um, the shoe today here are my tips I had to dr drill, drill, and re-drill the shoe multiple times, and I had to go to a bigger diameter 
um, drill bit than I expected in order to make enough clearance in the rubber. Because what was happening was I'd get the, sh the, the plate in there and start putting the screws in and I couldn't push them through even though I'd cut the, the, drilled the sole multiple times. Another thing that was really, really difficult, which I think I might've mentioned before is with this shoe, you know, the tongue stops here and this plate has six um, bolts, not four. My other one had four. So these front two are up pretty far up towards the toe and the tongue does not come back enough. So I don't really have a good instructions on how to do that. I just played and played and played and kind of screwed through this end once I made some marks and getting the screws actually in there and through the hole without them being angly was, it sucked. Let's just put it that way. So finally got them through. So the next step is uh, making sure you, you're with the right plate. I didn't try dry fitting this to see if it's all going to fit. God, I really hope it fits or I'm just going to cry. Um, regular mounting hardware is too short to make it through the sneaker, the aluminum plate, the skate plate, the chicks and bowls sliders. So the um, hardware kit that I bought from, oh God, it fits. <gasps> the hardware kit that I bought from um, uh, Skate Rats did contain some extra long bolts like this. So I went to Lowe's to try to find matching ones, and of course they didn't have them. But I did find, it came with these long ones, but it wasn't enough. It only had four long ones and then four like these medium ones. These were the existing ones from my old skate, or sorry. <coughs> these are the Chicks and Bowls ones. These are far too short. I don't even understand. I guess this is if you're just putting these on regular skates and not sneakers because they're not even close to fitting through all this shit. So, um, once you get the bolt, anyway, so I went to Lowe's. I had to go with something slightly different, but um, I made it work. They just didn't have the exact thing. The big thing is making sure that you're looking for a um, flat head like this so that you can, in, in your, um, your aluminum plate, you're going to have, you drill your initial hole and then you have to make sure that you um, uh, countersink it. So you're getting a, a wider drill bit to kind of get the top part so that this V part sets in it so that it sits flush and it doesn't sit up like this. Um, so, okay. Now the next step is the sliders. Please fit. I'm gonna put you on uh, time lapse. All right, so I finally got it in mostly. I think I can tweak the rest of it with when I um, screw it in. So now I'm just gonna put the washers and um, nuts on. These are the ones that came with my hardware kit. They've got these like grippy, grippy little things already built into them. I don't have those for the ones I had to buy at Lowe's. So whatever, I'll just make do as usual.
finally. Finally, it's on. I was worried that the screws were going to stick up too much inside, but um, countersinking them and when I tighten them down, it really, I mean, they're pretty flush, mostly flush with the aluminum. And, you know, I'll, I'll get a bit, I'm going to put, I'll start off by putting the original Vans old insoles back in there, but um, I'll probably end up getting a nicer, thicker insole. But I'm hoping, I can feel it a little bit. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Although who knows how that's going to feel under my foot. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably end up getting a better insole. But one is done. So the next step is just to go and trim off um, all these pieces. And Lord knows we already I know how to do that well. So um, I think I'll save it for the end. And do this one. Ugh. Um, oh. So these are the uh, screws that I ended up buying at Lowe's. 10, 24s by 2 inches long. Flathead. Make sure you buy appropriate um, 1024 nuts as well because I have already put the wrong nut on a screw where it feels like it's going on and then all of a sudden it seizes up and I can't get it on or off and I've had to cut it off. So that was another fun thing that happened twice on the other skate. So one thing you can do to make your life easier is just put your plates and your, well, the aluminum plate against your plate to make sure that everything is fully going to fit before you try germinating your shoe and screwing it. Lesson learned. So I just went and redid the, sh the holes bigger. Like I said, you should definitely be able to see the holes. When I did the actual proper size screw hole for the um, for these and drilled it, you couldn't see the hole. Like the rubber just kind of wants to heal up. So, and I just couldn't jam that thing in there. So definitely make your life easier and enlarge the holes on the shoe. The, the screw is gonna hold into the um, metal plate on the top, on the inside and the plate of your plate on the outside so the rubber is just kind of sandwiched in between so it's not going to matter if these are a little bit bigger installed cut the screw um, heads off a couple little pointy bits that I probably need to um, deal with I scarred up my plates just a little bit, but whatever. Finally, all right, so now all I have to do is hopefully get these new um, hangers to fit, trucks, whatever. And I'm going to switch the cushions out for something a little bit softer, I think. I think I have some yellow cushions, so... I'm going to go grab those and then see if I can figure out how to get this back together. I think I'm almost done. So I found my cushions. I have, I think, I thought I had yellow, but they're in my derby skates. So I've got blue, which are, I think, the softest, which is good. Um, my theory is that because of the difference in the trucks, that because they don't have that little ball on the end, um, that they're not going to be quite as responsive. And so therefore I think I want a softer cushion to kind of compensate for that a little bit. That's my theory. Um, I can always put the purples in if I need to. So let's see.
I gotta remember how these go together. Well, it's six o'clock on Sunday evening. I spent my whole weekend doing this, but I'm done. I'm super excited. Uh, I'm gonna go try them out. This project was a lot harder than I thought it would be. It took a lot more time than I thought it would be. I needed way more tools than I expected to. The hardest part is dealing with the aluminum plate, getting it drilled, getting the placement right in the shoe. Hopefully everything's lined up. Oh, I'm slightly off there. It is what it is. This is my fun skates. I really hope they're comfortable and um, I'm excited. So would I do it again? No, I don't think so. I think I would hire somebody. Of course, now I know how to do it. So next time would be easier, but totally would not be looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, woo, fun. Bye, thanks for sticking with me. I hope this was helpful for somebody that was uh, thinking about doing it yourself. Good luck.